what's going on everyone i'm back here with another video and today i'm going to be doing a what's in my camera bag video uh, so essentially i'm going to be uh, going over what i have in my camera bag and things that i use on a daily basis for my photography and or uh, youtube videos and things like that so uh yeah let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> um so First and foremost, the camera bag that I am using um, on a daily basis is the Nikon uh, Deluxe uh, SLR camera bag. Uh, you can pick it up off of Amazon for about $30, uh, which is actually a pretty reasonable price uh, for this uh, style of camera bag, so it's pretty good. <clears throat> um, so let's go ahead and start right here. Now, of course, the main portion of the bag houses the camera and I did make an unboxing of this camera about a few weeks ago and this is the uh, Nikon D5500 with the 18 to 140 lens so that's that now what I have on the side over here uh, this first thing is a pretty interesting one uh, this is the the Geodas um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but the Geodas um, Air Duster, and essentially what this does is it blows dust off of either your camera or your uh, lens, and it is a two-valve design, so you have a valve on the bottom uh, and one on the top, so it only redirects air one direction, so it does not pull dust back in, so it's pretty cool. Really, really neat thing to have. Um, I would really recommend getting that. Um... Next up, we have the lens caps. Um, this one is the rear cap that comes with the uh, lens, and this is the body cap of the camera. Uh, these are a good thing to keep with you at all times, just in case if you need to put the caps back on. So, really good thing to keep on hand. Now, I have another thing down in here. This is a clever little device. Um, it's just a very simple little container that has four different... Uh, sections in it and they're stacked on top of each other so essentially the top one I have reserved for the lens cloth uh, the next one down I have labeled as screen cloth so you never want to use uh, your screen microfiber cloth to clean your lens because the dust and oils from your fingers uh, could be smudged onto the lens and then you just have a bigger problem to deal with so always keep your uh, screen cloth and lens cloth separated uh, to avoid that issue so that's that and then the next one down is my extra memory cards as you can see here I got just a couple extra SD cards in there really handy and last container at the bottom has just some random con uh, components so this here is a a hot shoe tripod mount this is a uh, viewfinder cap, so if you're if I'm going to be storing the camera for a long period of time, um, I would put this uh, viewfinder cap on to prevent dust and scratches from getting on the viewfinder. So, really simple little thing there. And both of these I got off of eBay for 99 cents, so really good deal there. And this little container I got at Walmart for about two dollars, so really really cheap yet efficient device there okay so next up we have this front compartment here so let's go ahead and open that up so we got several things in here first one is this little notebook uh, this was something that i kind of thought about and thought that would be a good idea and what this is is it says i labeled it camera settings so essentially this notebook is so i could write down different camera settings for different situations so um, I am someone that uses manual mode on my camera quite often, so this little notebook helps me out a lot. So, for example, in here I have light painting in my backyard, and I have the settings configured or written down for that, so I don't have to guess what settings to put. So I just look at this little notebook and put the settings in the camera, and I'm ready to go. Um, and also, it's a good idea to carry around a pencil so you can write in the notebook. You don't want to be left without... A writing utensil um, this is not something that um, I'm always gonna have in here but I do have the user's manual just in case if I need to look up something about the camera 
Um, next, I have some lens filters. Um, I already have a lens filter on the camera itself, uh, but there are three that would be in this little case. The first one would be a standard UV filter, and what I use that for is essentially protection for my lens. Now, the next filter that is included is the circular polarizer, and this is a filter that I highly recommend getting. It is a really, really neat, useful filter because what it does is reduces glare and reflections on surfaces. So say, for example, you're taking pictures of plants and stuff outside, it will reduce the glare and reflection off of the leaves so you can get a more saturated and contrasty image. So it's really, really nice. And also it could be used to make the blue sky bluer um, and then the last filter here is a filter that is called the FLD. And essentially, this is a filter mainly used on film cameras, so it's really not one that you want to use on digital. The only reason why I have this is because it came with the filter pack. So this was a 3D filter kit. I don't use this very often. I mean, I use it to kind of just give a different look to photos. As you can see, it kind of gives a purple tint to whatever you're looking at. So it... Really, that's all I use it for, to give a different look to my images. Okay, so next up in here, and lastly, are macro filters. These are something that are incredibly useful to me, and are something that I would seriously recommend picking up. And so basically what these are, macro filters. You screw them onto the front portion of your lens, but essentially you screw this onto the front of your lens, and it gives you instant macro functionality. So say for example, the lens I currently have on my camera, uh, I have to be within about a one and a half feet away from my subject to be able to get any macro uh, images. Now with this particular filter, this is a 10 times magnification, I believe, and it gives a substantial increase to how close you can get to your subject. So. Once this is on there, you can go from one and a half feet to only needing to be about five inches away from your subject to get macro images. And there are four um, different lenses here, or filters, excuse me. So you have a, a one times, two times, four times, and a ten times macro lens. So really, really useful. Um, they're super simple and really cheap. So let's go ahead and screw this back up here. And let's move on to this side. There's this pouch on here. So this pouch houses an old iPhone 4 that I have put out of commission, essentially. I'm only using this to record videos. And basically what I do with this is I mount this iPhone 4 onto my camera's hot shoe using an adapter. And basically I use this kind of like you would a GoPro and I record video while I am taking pictures. So it's a really nice, cheap alternative because you can get used iPhone 4s off of eBay for about 30 bucks. So really good deal there and affordable way of doing that. <clears throat> okay, so on the other side here, I have two things in this pouch. First one being is a flashlight. This is something that you need to have with you if you plan on doing night photography. Um, and long exposures at night, so you can see the buttons and controls on your camera. Um, the second thing in this pouch is a miniature tripod. This is not to be used with the camera because it is not big enough and it can't hold up the weight of the camera. Basically, I just use this to mount an external flash or some external accessory onto uh, so I could place it in a separate location rather than mounting it directly onto my camera's hot shoe. So really simple. I got this about, I don't know, 10 bucks at Walmart. Really cheap and useful. All right, so next up we have uh, the top portion here, which I have several things in here. So first one being is my battery charger. You always want to keep this on hand just in case if you need to recharge your battery on the go. Um, next up, I have these little hot shoe adapters that go on top of the camera. There's, I have about four of them in here. Um, and what these do is it allows you to mount any 
tripod accessory on top of your camera's hot shoe. So, to give a demonstration of that, this device here is a simple uh, tripod mount for a smartphone. And this is what I use to mount the iPhone 4 on top of the camera. So, I use this little uh, tripod mount little adapter. I got this thing off of eBay for about, I don't know, about $3 for four of them. So, it was a really good deal. Um, and what that does is it essentially screws into the bottom of this smartphone uh, uh, mount. And then the iPhone 4 just mounts right into this little device here. And then it goes right on top of the camera's hot shoe, like so. You just place it right there, and you are good to go. <clears throat> so that is another thing I really recommend picking up. Um, this is something also that I recommend getting. Um, I already have it mounted on the camera. But what this it little device is, it's so simple, yet it's so useful. Um, it is a little spirit level that goes right on top of your camera's hot shoe, and you can leave it there all the time permanently if you choose, because it serves as a cap and or cover as well for the hot shoe, so the hot shoe doesn't get any dust or anything on it. So, But it also doubles as a little spirit level, so you can make sure your camera is level while you're taking photos. So really simple useful, efficient little device, little tool. Um, again, I got this little thing off of eBay for about $2. I will be putting a link in the description to all of these different accessories that I have here if you guys are interested in picking them up for yourselves. Um, okay, next little uh, pouch is this top one. Um, I don't have really anything of importance in here. I just have another microfiber cloth and a little cleaning kit. Uh, it's got an alcohol wet wipe to wipe off. Not the lens. Keep in mind, do not wipe off your lens with an alcohol wet pad. That will ruin things. Just don't do that. Um, I only have this to wipe off the screen and other components of the camera uh, that are not affected by the pad. But yeah, keep that in mind. And then this little blue part is just a dust absorber. So really nice thing to have. Okay, moving around to the last portion of the bag. Um, what I have in here, this is another very useful tool and is something that I really recommend everyone picking up. And what this is, is a shutter release cable. Um, I picked it up off of e or excuse me, Amazon for $12 with free shipping. And it is the best thing you could ever get for your camera because it allows you to release the shutter with this remote control with this button here. You just push it down and it takes the picture immediately and it also functions as focusing as well. So if you hold it down halfway, it acts as the focusing of the camera. And then it has a hold button. So if you press it in and hold, this allows you to do long exposures for an unlimited amount of time. So you just plug the cord into your camera's accessory port and you're good to go. Um, lastly, down in here, is a little retractable knife. Now, this is mainly used to cut such as paper. Who knows? It's, it's just as a precautionary measure, I just have this in here. You never know when you might need a pocket knife uh, to cut something or anything like that. Um, you do not have to have one. It's all about personal preferences, but me personally, I like to have a knife with me uh, just in case if I need to use it. But, uh, and then lastly, I have this device here. I currently had it on the camera, but this is a lens hood that is meant for the 18 to 140 millimeter lens. Um, and it is the HB32 model. Um, I got it off of Amazon for about $8 and probably the best $8 I've ever spent because it has made my photos uh, come out much better actually because it reduces glare um, in the images from direct sunlight, so really, really nice to have. And also, it protects the lens as well. Just like the UV filter I was talking about earlier, uh, this uh, gives you some extra protection as well. So, really, really nice things to have. Like I said, I'll put links to all of this in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, for this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right down there. It's greatly appreciated. Helps out the channel a lot. 
Also, hit that thumbs up button as well. It's greatly appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments about anything you've seen here, I'll drop a comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. 